I think I need a haircut. Oh, I need it. Yeah, let's do that. Oh man. Boom. Did you get a haircut or something? Yeah. What, are you copying me, bro? No, I'm totally paid too. That's because mom copies me. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, hey, I'm not really versed in the color game, eh? <laughs> As she said, it's technically not the way to do it, but whatever, got it done. It's all right, who do you want? I don't know, right, we'll put a collar on him. I'm gonna open the gate. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> A dump run's gonna be in the video soon, that's for sure. This is all last year, like buildings that got taken out that were up there and just, yeah, farm life, farm life. It's just like a constant project. All right, but well, we're gonna get Bruno and Major right now. I gotta take them for a walk. Like I said, we had a little incident. Now, if you just turn two dogs out like in a, in a yard, you, you could potentially like run into some kind of issues. So I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them down below here taking them for a walk i'm just gonna walk them like down the driveway then i'm gonna bring them into the pen and i'm just gonna see how they get on kennel so the reason why he's going in the kennel when you have loads of dogs you don't want to have too many dogs together when there's potentially like a commotion going on outside because it can turn out i'm actually gonna put him over here mech hey mech Even them too, though they get along great. You have an actual altercation, they actually like hear, hear a dog fight or something, then they can all get into it and then just chaos. So just a little separation, that's all. All right. Hey there you. All right, get on your leash then, bud. You look like you're gonna pee, but I can't tell. You think you're gonna pee? I don't know. These guys had a little altercation. So, just you know, when like dogs get into it, and the thing is, is like, think about dogs. And if I was more concerned about the situation, I would have been walking in between. So it's just kind of back to normal. So I'm gonna probably just we'll just turn them out in here and hang out with them for a little while. Um, but I was. I was hoping that I was gonna get at least some things to correct on film so I could show you. They had a little altercation over some food. You know, that's what the marks on his head is there. Do your thing. Do your thing. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, let's go. Ah. Oh my God. It's all right, I got it. Grab his collar. Well, they're not friends anymore. Yeah, so major start of that whole thing. I'll have to work on it more. Basically, like dogs, when you feel bad for them, they kind of get a different set of rules. The both of these dogs, and like major was just kind of like a bit of a weakling, and he we didn't know if he was gonna survive. But anyways, you know, you break it up quick, and at least you kind of got to see like how you break it up. No big deal, you move on. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna need more work. So basically when dogs get into it, the thing is, is like they'll bite anything that's kind of touching them. But the reason why like I had to grab them and get a good hold of them is A, to keep my rank, you know, him understand that we get into an altercation, I'm gonna win. I know, everything's cool now. When they get going like that, you know, they'll bite at anything that touches them. I was like, oh, well, there's not much to the video. And then the video explodes just like seconds later. Anyways, it's things to learn from, so. As you can see, like, he's fine. I'm sure Major's fine. But anyways, everybody, like, nobody needs, like, veterinary assistance, basically. Everybody's fine. Just antibiotics are just super important. So we'll run them on the antibiotics. You know, we'll just have to keep taking them for walks together. I guess I just let that go a little bit quick. So they were just, like, all wrong from the beginning. What I'm going to do is teach him some leash manners. We'll teach Major some leash manners, and then we'll bring them back out together. Anyways, vlog's all about learning. You know, sometimes they all don't get along and it's the way it works sometimes and you gotta work at it to fix the relationships. Sometimes you can fix them, sometimes you can't. 
it's, it depends on what's worth it, right? Like what's worth it? Is it worth them if they're going to be constantly like getting into it? Is it going to be worth them, you know, taking that risk to try to just be able to spend time together? Because he still spends time with other dogs, so it's major. It's just they don't hang out with each other anymore, which they literally kind of grew up together, you know? So, but with Colk and Kobe and Drake, you can see that the possibilities are there. The main reason why both of these dogs have those issues is because they were both treated specially when they were puppies. And when you single out a dog and you treat them different or special, they tend to end up having problems socially amongst each other. They were fine with each other, but you're at a point, he's at an age where like, he's not gonna really take all of the things that Major's gonna throw at him. Before he was a puppy, he kind of would just run away. But now he stands up for himself. So, you know, it's uh, I gotta fix their behaviors if I wanna have them be able to be around each other. So I have to fix them both individually before I can bring them around each other. I thought that I maybe it wasn't as serious as it was, but I was incorrect. But anyways, learning, learning experience. I'll have to watch it back and try, and try to see, you know? That didn't quite go as I planned it. The only thing really to plan on is, in life is plan on things going wrong. I will never, ever yes. in a million years forget that. Well, it's one of the best sayings out there, you know? If you, want, if you want to make a good plan, just plan on shit it up. It's a good thing to plan on. I didn't plan on shit that time, so it caught me off guard. I have to watch the footage back. When I watch the footage back, I'll probably have a better idea of it because it's just like in the moment. But from the start, I think the mistakes that were made is they were just too, a little bit too high strung. So I think next time if I go to put them together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear them both out. What we wanna do is we wanna get them both good on leash. So that was the first mistake is neither one of them are good on leash. So you kind of have a bit of this chaos going on. The second mistake was we probably should have taken more time walking them on the leash together just to really gauge what was going on. But I'm just gonna work with Bruno on leash, work with Major on leash. Next time we go to bring them together, we'll make sure that he's been outside and he's ran around because I don't know that, like, he was outside for a while. He wasn't like running around. So I'm gonna go outside, make sure we exercise Bruno, make sure we exercise Major, and then we'll bring them back together again. But it's a story for you guys to follow and we'll see how, we'll see how it ends up. We'll just continue on moving and, um, you know, you guys can just follow it as it develops. And that's it. They're dogs, man. Shit is not gonna be perfect when you're dealing with dogs. You know, you're gonna have days when they're great and days when they're not great. It's, it's animals, man. So one, one thing that I wanna note in that, if you watch that footage is, listen to how calm I am the whole time when they're getting into it. There was no point where it's like panic or screaming or any of that. You actually, I think you hear me tell her like, hey, it's, it's okay. okay. Like, it's like, cause it's okay. Like we're not, there's no reason to panic. They both have collars on. There's, we're gonna get them separated. And it was quick. Just, I just want you to note, like, I always talk about this and it's one of the most important things if your dogs get into it is that you stay calm, right? That you don't panic. If you panic and you start screaming, you know what? Like all you're gonna do, A, is if you have other dogs, you're gonna get them going. You're only gonna make the situation worse. So remember, just stay calm. That's all, stay calm. Oh, I had this like ravine cut into here because we live in the mountains. So I had to have this excavated last year. And we made this little, little chute of water that goes over there and drains out into the drain that we have over there. He's the rodeo guy. So he came from a kill pen. He was a rodeo horse. He's unbroke, so he's not, he's, he's not so sure about people. You know, his only experience with people is you get on my back and I get you off my back. But I think I'm gonna turn him out with the other horses soon. And this random cow who's like sticking his toe in his eye for some reason. And then, yeah, you got these guys. This is Roman. Oh my God, the flies are unbelievable, yo. Oh my God, this is Roman. So he is a Belgian draft horse. That's him, well that's Chica's ass. She's really flirty, all like this. This is Zorro here. He's the old man. So we got Roman, that's Seamus, this is Chica, that's Zora all over there, and this is Artex. He's, he's in a round pen because that's what he needed to just kind of acclimate to us and everything that's going on, but I'm probably going to lay him out soon, just turn him out with the other horses. Horses are vibe, dude. It's a whole different vibe, but they're vibe all the same. This is Chica. She's, she's like the, the uh, village flirt over here. She's the only girl, so she's, she was in season recently, so she was just flirting with everybody. Yeah, no, she's doing it again. 
He's like, I'll use your ass to scratch my face. Thank you. There's mad bugs, so. The Roman is very big, as you can see him to the other horses. He's about, uh, this Roman's like 19 hands. Almost like 2,000 pounds. He's a pretty big animal. Cannot stand the bugs anymore. It's madness. Absolute madness. Like, you forget. Like, you forget. You're like, you know, wintertime's not so bad. You start thinking about all these flies, but... Yeah. Anyways, I have another surprise for you guys coming. I'm always getting random shit. So, like, my wife has another random animal coming. So... Yeah, there's that. This is Raiden, this is a Raiden, this is a Rogue. Hi girl, hi girl, she fits her name, she's always doing some random shit. This is Raiden, he's handsome as they come. Hey buddy, hey friend, he's clear somebody has been swimming in the water bowl. That'd be you. <laughs> Dude, these are two epic characters that we will definitely get to know in the vlog. This is Frank and Faris. Yo, forget Frank, this is Faris here. Film Faris. Stop, film Faris, he's cool. This is Faris. <laughs> so they're, they're, I love them. I love them all, honestly. They're just like, there's just two dogs that if you're just having a bad day, they go and look at them. I can't not smile. Like, look at this. Look at this. Ah, what are you making? Ha Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, dogs, they're the greatest just ever. I'm gonna, yeah, maybe I'll do that now. This is, this is, this is horrible. This is criminal. I should clean these cars. Oh my God, I should. Bro, did she really cut the kid's hair and leave it right there? <sighs> okay, let's find the hose and the sprayer thingy. I do bring some, I go to touchless car wash, like I'll go to the touchless car wash. Some people are like sacrilege when they have a car, they like won't bring their car to the car wash. Time is also money in my world. So I try to give them all like a seasonal clean on the mall in the beginning of the season. Let's get some keys. We need this one, we need this one, and we need this one. All right, so we got three keys. We can wash them. We got a bunch of keys. I'm just gonna go and put the keys in the cars. You feel like push button, like keys that like makes your life easier? Like thinking about it into, I don't know that the whole push button situation is more convenient. I feel like at least when I had keys that I had to turn, like you put it in the car, you turn it, you know where the damn keys are. 
I've actually never lost a set of keys, contrary to what Lisa wants to say. She feels like I lost a Denali key. I did not lose the key to the Denali. She did, so I had to buy that key. Having them not attach is just like a good way to lose your keys. At least when you had them, when they were in your car, you could just, you know, you just turn the key, at least you know where the key is. I don't know. Anyways, let's start with this one. All right, it doesn't really got to get warm. I'm only going to back it up like a couple of feet, but just wear it to the wise, y'all, just so you know. Generally, when you start a car, especially a performance car, you want to let it get to an operating temperature. You don't really want to just start a car and then just turn right off. It's really not that good for them. So I'm going to let it get hot anyways. Um, we're going to give it a wash down. All right, let's do this. Just move it up a little bit. Yeah, now I think I set this to a time lapse and uh, we do our thing. All right, so. Oh, it's me today, uh, the bug hat. Shout out Allison for the hats, yo. Subscribers are the best. They send me random awesome shit, and this is like the best thing that I ever got. Um, because the bugs are horrendous around here. Alright, let's check this out. done again this one's probably for sale so if you're looking for a z06 this is one right here it is modified though i know corvette people are all crazy about having everything stock and boring well this is an actually exciting corvette so if you want an exciting corvette not like a boring just like oh my god it's a corvette a corvette that's like fast and sounds good and all that it's the one right there like this like this is stock and factory and so boring i love to drive it though because it's just an easy car but boring as shit until it has worked under it. So you know, everybody's different, teach their own. If you're into the stock cars, you're into stock cars, me, I'm into modified cars. Holy crap, look at my windshield. We won't look at this car because this car is not gonna get washed today. All right, old GTR, time for a bath, baby. Look at it, I went to, I went to push the clutch in. <laughs> degreaser on the back of the car. The reason why I have to put degreaser on the back of this car is because this car is flex fuel so it's tuned for E85 and 93. It likes to use E85. We don't have E85 out here so uh, I run the 93 map and it smokes a bit and then it like sits the back of the car. So yeah that's why I do that. Uh, you have no idea the bugs are so crazy. Guess we should talk a little bit more about, you know, what happened today. Dogs, when they get into it, not getting along. Um, it happens, you know what I mean? I have lots of dogs and not everybody gets along every second. Yeah, I think it's good to show these things. It makes me look like more human to you guys because I know a lot of the time like people are like, always ask me like do your dogs ever get into it and it's like dude of course man they're dogs like you know just like people have off days dogs have off days you know dogs they get to certain ages like you know it's 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 a constant tending of relationships you know being a good leader and you know my life's very chaotic I haven't had as much contact with those two in the last like few weeks I would want them so I was down for like three months um, dealing with my surgery. So I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't really be around the dogs. I couldn't really be like the normal force that I am like around my house. So that definitely contributed to things with their relationship, but just some key things to know. The main thing that you wanna do if anything goes on with your dogs is make sure you stay calm. That's the first thing, don't freak out, stay calm. Um, having collars on the dogs, that was the quickest way. That's how I got them separated so quickly because all you have to do is hold up on the collar and you know, when a dog can can't breathe they can't bite and it's just like getting choked out they're perfectly fine like they're gonna be perfectly fine so don't worry it's the safest way to separate dogs though when they get into it always make sure when you have multiple dogs around you have collars on your dogs this one real quick I'll just give it a quick little scrub down 
But yeah, I mean, you know, having loads of dogs is a big responsibility. Oh damn, I got that auto windshield like thing on. Every time water hits, it's gonna wipe. Um, having a lot of dogs is a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of upkeep. Um, you know, so it's it's not always peaches and cream. You know what I mean? It's not always like everything's cute and cuddly. A lot of the time, that's how it happens. You know, dogs age, and you know, you really gotta manage you know they're the you know who's in control you know what i mean like you really gotta a lot there's a lot a lot of tending goes on when you got a lot of dogs it's it's a lot of work it's a full-time job and that's what we're here for i mean i'm here for it that's what i do 24 7 is deal with dogs but um you know in this vlog i really haven't shown a lot of things like you guys saw today so uh, i'm actually i'm not like happy that it happened but i'm glad that you guys got to see it you know what i mean so we could talk about it Cause it's important because I feel like things that I go through you can learn from it's why I always like to talk about you know any medical things that are going on with the dogs I always share with everybody because I feel like you know somebody else can probably learn from something that I was gone through so that's why I try to share that's why I don't hide shit from you guys so that's what happened today I I plan to bring them out you know get back together and you know rebuild the relationship and that's how it went it's it's not over by any means it's not over it's a work in process you know what i mean i'll get to the point where if it's like if i feel like it's not worth the push then we just turn it off and it's okay they just are two dogs that are not really gonna hang out all the time that's okay you don't win every single one anybody out there that's telling you that you win every single one is just out there lying to you but we'll put in time we'll put in the time and you know, we'll see if we can get them to, to, to rebond. You know what I mean? We'll see how it goes. It's uh, it's a process. You know what I mean? It's a process. So. so the thing to know is the two of them are actually like very friendly dogs. Like they're very good with all the other dogs. Well, except for Major. Like I said, when you have dogs that are treated differently, you can end up with dogs that act differently. And like I said, those two were kind of like the rejects. <laughs> so, um, you know, they were treated differently. We didn't know if Bruno was gonna survive. So, you know, he was treated differently. He was kind of coddled and babied a little bit more. That's why you guys are gonna really learn that treating your dogs in that manner can actually really be a negative thing. And that's what we saw here, is they just, both of them, just were treated differently. Major was always kind of like, he just was a little bit weird, you know, as a puppy. That's why he's neutered. And now he's obviously never gonna breed. He's just here, he's just part of the family. But uh, he was treated a little differently. You know, he just got more attention. And when that happens, socially the dogs can have problems. So it's really actually important to treat everybody equally and make sure that you don't really have special treatment for any dogs. Otherwise, you can run into problems. And there's the two dogs that had special treatment. They're bumping heads. Because what, what, why it worked before too was because their age difference, right? So major was older bruno was younger so anytime they would kind of have an altercation bruno would just kind of bow down to major you now i will come in and separate it and make sure that you know they understand who's actually in control of the whole situation but between them there's always a pecking order that's going to go on between them and between those two major was always kind of a charge and as bruno grew up when they would get into it he wouldn't he started to defend himself and that's where it starts to turn it's it's just something that we have to work on just like anything else it's just like something that we have to work on so we'll continue to build their relationship take them on leashed walks like i said the first thing that needs to be done is the both of them need to get better leash manners because that was part of the issue is right out of the gate it was kind of chaotic but on the walk like just walking them up and down they were fine and they seemed fine and they'd been fine for so long that in my mind i just you know had a little mental lapse and you know i just trusted them in a situation where I shouldn't have. I should have taken more time to walk with them, to watch them, to just really watch their body language. But, you know, I'm human, just like anybody else. So I just fast tracked it and that's what happened. But it clearly showed us that we have more work to do and we're here to do the work. So that's it. And these coming vlogs coming up, you'll see, you'll see how it goes. Uh, so I'm out to eat and uh, do some editing. Maybe I'll have time for a game, probably not. My time is pretty limited these days. So I'm about to edit, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.